The use of the world's oceans as a dumping ground for harmful wastes has been systematically regulated and reduced under the terms of an international convention that this year celebrates 40 years since it was first adopted. The Convention on the Prevention of Marine Pollution by Dumping of Wastes and Other Matter of 1972, usually referred to as the London Convention, was one of the first global conventions designed to protect the marine environment from human activities. It has been in force since 1975. Its objective is to promote the effective control of all sources of marine pollution and to take all practicable steps to prevent pollution of the sea by dumping of wastes and other matter. Currently, 87 states are parties to it. In 1996, the London Protocol was agreed to further modernise the Convention and, eventually, to replace it. Under the Protocol, all dumping is prohibited, with the exception of certain categories of wastes on a so-called reverse list. These wastes, which include dredged material, sewage sludge, fish wastes, inert, inorganic geological material such as mining wastes, organic material of natural origin, and carbon dioxide streams from carbon dioxide capture processes are all subject to stringent assessment procedures. The London Protocol entered into force on 24th of March 2006 and currently has 42 states party. Amendments that were adopted in 1993 and entered into force a year later brought in a total ban on the dumping into the sea of low-level radioactive wastes. In addition, Within two years of their adoption, these amendments phased out the dumping of industrial wastes and banned the incineration at sea of industrial waste and sewage sludge. A comprehensive series of guidelines on dumping have been developed under the auspices of the Convention and Protocol. In addition, formal advice has been developed concerning the management of spoilt cargoes aboard vessels, best management practices for removal of anti-fouling coatings from ships, and the placement of artificial reefs. Contracting parties to the London Protocol have recently taken groundbreaking steps to mitigate the impacts of increasing concentrations of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by amending the protocol to regulate carbon capture and sequestration in subsea geological formations. Forty years after its adoption, the London Convention and its protocol are still providing a relevant and important framework within which the international community is tackling key issues surrounding the protection of the marine environment. The London Convention was adopted 40 years ago, 1972. And at that time, the Convention was not within the scope of IMO. But in 1977, the IMO Assembly decided to cover the activities of supporting the London Convention. And since then, we have achieved significant improvement and strengthened the regime of London Convention. And this year, we celebrate the 40th years of the London Convention's activities. And I think we have every reason to celebrate and be happy and proud of IMO's activities to support the London Convention.